Speaking of livability and living conditions, there's a special reunion coming up this Tuesday marking the one-year anniversary that the Austin Humane Society rescued dogs from a hoarding situation in Bastrop. Well, those pups are now with their loving families. Joining us once again this morning, Kelly Haynes from the Austin Humane Society and Rose, who adopted Trooper from that situation. Uh, thanks for joining us once again and sticking around with us this morning. Um, talk about, once again, the situation that these dogs were pulled from. It was rough on all the dogs. I mean, there was no doubt as soon as they cracked the door open and looked into that home that these dogs were in bad shape. Uh, but they came to us, and Trooper's a great example of what can happen when we all pitch in together as a society to help these dogs. And, and you said Trooper's kind of been your poster child because uh, the living conditions were so bad, and, and now you look at the, at the happy dog. Absolutely. Rose will tell you it just took a couple of days for Trooper to immediately realize uh, the condition um, that he had been in and what he was going to be in now and Ro and Rose does a great job of spoiling Trooper. Yeah, Rose, talk about talk about Trooper, uh, how you picked him out and, and why you decided to, to rescue him. Trooper picked me out. Oh, uh, there you the, go. the worker was carrying him out like this to pre-walk him before the event mm. and I was first in line and I was sitting in a chair and he came out of the door, took one look at me, jumped out of her arms and in my lap and I thought, oh, this is very cute. <laughs> and But he here you go. And he wouldn't get out. Mm -hmm. And he did what he's doing now. Climbed up, put his arms around my neck, didn't want to go. And I'm like, you know what? Just give me his number. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, his name, and I'll adopt him now. And uh, so, first one in the door, I was out within 20 minutes. With Trooper. Now, what was the uh, the challenge for you taking in a dog that's come from horrible situations and uh, making him comfortable with his new surroundings? Probably that he got sick within a couple of days and really sick. He'd had a mild case of heartworms, but he got an upper respiratory infection, so he is mm -hmm. pretty sick cookie. Yeah. For about two or three weeks, vet care and mm -hmm. just, you know, making sure, and, and just getting over his fear of everything, the, the leaves, the grass, mm -hmm. a leash, not yeah. even realizing a walk was fun. Yeah. Some of these dogs were covered in what we would know as dreadlocks, and I was talking to one of our veterinarians the other day who said when they shaved the dreadlocks off the one dog, they weighed it and it was 10 pounds. Oh that was goodness. 10 pounds of hair that was matted and feces and debris and dust. And yeah. So you look at Trooper and it's a great case of a dog that has just bounced back and is uh, loving being in Rose's home. And, and, and they were all different types of dogs. This wasn't just one particular breed? Or they were mixed breeds uh, of a smaller size. Most of them were uh, less than 20 pounds. So if you imagine some of the dogs were 20 pound dogs and they were covered in five to 10 pounds of uh, matted dreadlock. Oh. And we had to immediately um, take care of that problem before we could do anything. And so what made you decide to host this event on Tuesday and get everyone back together? A lot of it were the adopters reaching out to us and telling us they wanted to get back with the other adopters that they knew were you know, flourishing with their dogs as well and giving mm -hmm. them a chance to meet with our medical staff who worked so hard for weeks to get these dogs into their homes. And so it's a real chance, a reunion for everybody to get back together and celebrate what was a very difficult time which has now become a success story. Yeah, exactly. A great testament to uh, not only what the Austin Humane Society does and what the other shelters do, Absolutely. but how uh, gratifying adopting a pet can be for, for both parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for so much Thank for being you. with us this morning. Thank you.